Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover derivation for pulse width of monostable multivibrator. So we have already seen the working of monostable multivibrator in detail. If you want to know the working in detail, you can watch my video. I will provide the link in the description. So in this video, we are going to derive the time period of pulse width. Now, which pulse I am talking about? Stable state of monostable multivibrator is plus Vsat. And when you apply negative trigger pulse, it goes to minus Vsat for some time. And then it comes back to plus Vsat again. So this pulse is formed at your output side. Okay. So what will be the time period of this pulse width that we need to find out. So we are going to derive an equation which will tell us that for these values, for this R1, R2, RC combination, you will get pulse width of this time period. Okay. So we are going to call this pulse width T. Now let's find out the equation of this T. So you must be knowing this equation for capacitor voltage. This is very simple. Just keep patience. Initial voltage into E raised to minus T upon RC. Then plus final voltage in bracket 1 minus E raised to minus T upon RC. So you need to know the initial voltage across the capacitor. Then final voltage available for capacitor. And RC is nothing but your time constant. Okay. So we are analyzing for this time period. So this part we are going to analyze. Okay. So first of all at T equal to T. What is your capacitor voltage? What is value of Vc? That is beta Vsat. This point. Okay. It is beta Vsat. Now what is initial voltage? Initial voltage was Vd over here. Okay. It started from Vd. That is voltage drop of diode. Now what is final voltage? Now final voltage is not the maximum voltage of your capacitor it is not beta v set it is the maximum value which was available to charge towards okay so capacitor was charging towards minus v set but it could not reach that is another case but the maximum voltage was available across the capacitor was minus v set okay so we found out vc iv and fv now we just have to substitute over here so vc is beta v set then iv initial voltage is vd then FV final voltage is minus Vsat. Okay. Now I have just opened this bracket. So it becomes minus Vsat plus minus Vsat and this term. Then I have just taken this common. So in bracket it will become Vd plus Vsat. And then I have sent this Vsat to left hand side. So it become plus Vsat. Now I have just taken Vsat common. So, so in bracket it will become 1 minus beta. Okay. Now I want this E alone. So I send this Vd plus Vsat to left hand side. Now I am taking natural log on both sides. So this exponential term will get removed and we will get minus T upon RC. And on the right hand side we will take ln of this whole term. Okay. Now this Vd that voltage drop of diode is very negligible. For silicon it is just 0 0.7. So we are going to neglect it as Vd is very very less than Vsat. So we have ignored this term. So denominator is just Vsat now. So this Vsat and this Vsat will get cancelled and it will become ln 1 minus beta. Now just send this minus sign to right hand side. So using this property, I just took the reciprocal of 1 minus beta because there was minus sign over here. And final step is send this RC to right hand side. Now here we know value of beta. So we can substitute this beta over here. So this 1 upon 1 minus beta, I'm going to calculate. So I substituted beta, simplified, this R1 will get cancelled and we will get R1 plus R2 upon R2, which is nothing but 1 plus R1 upon R2. So we replace this term with this term. So our equation is RC ln 1 plus R1 upon R2. So the time period can be adjusted by adjusting these four components, RC, R1 and R2. To simplify it further, we can assume R1 is equal to R2. So this term will become 1 and 1 plus 1 will become 2. So ln of 2 comes out as 0 0.693. So your time period will become 0 0.693 into RC. So this is the main equation. And if you want to know the frequency, just take an inverse of this. It will become 1.44 RC. So these two equations are very important. So with these two equations, you can calculate the time period of your output pulse. Okay. So note these equations or take a screenshot. 
so it was very simple derivation i hope you have understood it so that's all for this video i have solved design questions of monostable multi vibrator you can check out that video you can check out the video where i have explained the working and all waveforms in detail i will provide all the links in the description if you have liked this video press the like button share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you